All right, now, if you've seen me on our channel before, you might be more used to me talking to you in my studio. You know, like this place. But right here and now, I wanted to talk to you about something faster. And by faster, I don't mean that I want to tell you more quickly. The faster thing I wanted to talk about is you. It's your sound, faster. Because that's what Reason 13 is all about. Yeah, that's right, I said Reason 13. The Reason Gang over in Stockholm has been working on a collection of features and devices that all have that idea in mind, getting you to your sound faster. Look, you're gonna hear me say faster a lot in this video, so if you wanna start a drinking game, now's a good time. Should we start with the new devices or the workflow stuff? I say we start with the new devices. Reason 13 has five new Reason Rack devices, an instrument, an effect, and three useful tools. First, there's Polytone. And if the name Polytone makes you think of the beloved monotone bass synthesizer, that's not by accident. I'm gonna tell you a secret here in my car so it, you know, doesn't get out between you and me. The reality is that every sound you can do with monotone is possible on a practical level with Thor or Europa. But there's a reason we love monotone and reach for it first, and you're probably catching on. It's faster. Polytone has a classic subtractive synthesizer architecture where the controls are direct access to the key sound shaping stuff you need and none of the abstractions or gimmicks that slow us down. There's two layers to Polytone, identical in their layout. We could dial in similar sounds on each layer, maybe with a slight detune and use the mix mode to blend between them. Or we could dial in totally different sounds on each layer and use Polytone's morph mode to, well, yeah, morph from one sound to the other getting all the sonic variants in between. And if you're thinking that's gonna sound pretty awesome, well, you're thinking like I am. If Polytone is about getting amazing synth sounds faster, Reason's new delay unit is about getting weirder faster. Ripley Space Delay takes the simplicity of the echo and throws it out the window, providing way more ways to do way more. Way more ways to do way more. Yeah, with independent control of the left and right delay signals, a built-in reverb stage, distortion, EQ bands, LFO modulation, Ripley is meant to make cool sounds even cooler faster. Sometimes getting to your sound faster needs simple focus tools that execute quickly. There's three new devices in Reason's rack with just that in mind. Sidechain tool is for, yeah, you guessed it, sidechain pumping. Having a dedicated tool like this means getting deeper faster and having more control over the sound in the process. The stereo tool is a new DSP algorithm for widening your sounds and reason, while the gain tool gives you a quick way to stay in control of the levels and subtle stereo panning in your insert signal chain or combinator designs. There's a crossfade mode you can use like a DJ, or even use it like a simple two-channel mixer for your sound design, when all you need is two channels. Those are the five new devices, but Reason 13 is also about finding your sound faster. There's a whole new browser experience in Reason 13 where sounds are tagged and searchable. If you're looking for a bass that's made using a synth with a dirty vibe and it's monophonic, well, here you go. All of Reason's sounds have been tagged by hand, including every Reason Plus sound pack to make them discoverable, relevant to your filter choices, and loaded into the rack with one click. But searching for sounds isn't the only workflow change to Reason 13. The sequencer in the Reason DAW has been overhauled to help you work faster. My favorite change is that editing any clip now happens inline in the sequencer split view, so you can keep an eye on the full arrangement while making adjustments to a MIDI clip. There's also immediate access to note editing directly in the sequencer, including new MIDI transformations like velocity ramps. And that same inline efficiency exists when editing audio clips in the sequencer as well. Then there's all the little things that add up to a lot, like intuitively zooming the sequencer by dragging the timeline, or completely restructured context menus with quick access to important parameters. But when it all comes down to it, all this stuff, the new devices, the workflow features, even the new patches and the new ways to discover them. They're really all about you. They're really all about your sound faster.